Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Apple Guy. And today I'm going to be unboxing a Amazon Echo Dot. This is the cheapest end that you can get for $29.99 on sale. The regular price is $9.99. And they range from the little Echo Dot, as you see here, to the $79 Echo 2. And then to the bigger Echo Premium, which is $179. And... With this Echo Dot, I say it's a really good price for those who want to get a feel of a smart assistant as well as a speaker. Just to let you guys know, this one does not have a built-in speaker. You have to plug one in through the headphone jack on the back of the device. But otherwise, for 30 bucks, this is a really good deal. And instead of waiting for the HomePod, I want to give it a try. So I went with the Amazon instead of the Google Home Assistant. So let's get right into the unboxing. So as you see on the front of the box, it's the black color option. There also is a white color option. And it gives you some information of what it does. Like you can tell it Alexa, play top songs. Or Alexa, dim my lights. Or Alexa, wake me up at 6 a.m. And it has far field voice control built into the device. On the right side, it just says Echo Dot. On the back, it gives you a little information about the device, so let's go through that right now. It says, designed around your voice, Echo Dot connects to Alexa, a cloud-based voice service that is always getting smarter. Just asks Alexa, will provide information, play music, read the news, set alarms, control smart home devices, and much more. Add voice control to your speakers, connect to speakers over Bluetooth, or with a audio cable and directly stream music from Amazon Music, Pandora, Spotify, TuneIn, iHome Radio, and more. And far field voice recognition with seven microphones, beam forming technology, and noise cancellation, Echo Dot hears you from across the room and responds through the built in speakers or a connected speaker. Voice control your smart home. Ask Alexa to turn on lights. Control your thermostat, garage door, or sprinklers, and more. On the right side, it gives you more information about the device and what's included. So from the top, it has Wi-Fi built in. has Bluetooth, which connects to the smart home accessories, as well as Bluetooth speakers, besides the 3.5mm headphone jack built onto the device. And it says explore skills including Amazon Music, Pandora, NPR, Aereo, Wemo, uh, Philips Hue, CNN, Spotify, Intention, and more. And it says what's included? Amazon Echo Generation 2, power adapter 9 watt, and a micro USB cable. So all of these are the second generation of the device. So... If, for instance, you went and you wanted to buy the first generation, you would have to go through Amazon or eBay to find the older devices if you want those cheaper. My suggestion is you get the newer device because it has faster hardware and it's probably going to be more up to date for the cloud services that connects to the smart home assistant speaker. So to open the box, Amazon puts a nice little pull tab right here. So you just lift up on the pull tab, simple like that, and you lift up. Nice presentation of the box, I really like that, just opening up how the color of blue is a little bit different, like here's like a lighter greenish blue, then a darker color, here it's like an aqua blue, and then you got the nice black around the box, that's pretty cool. And then here you see it says Amazon, so we'll turn it around like that. Pulling up the box with the little lip, put the box to the side. Here's the Amazon Echo just flowing right out. So here it is. So we're gonna put the Echo to the side and let's see what's in the box. So here's the paperwork that says Echo Dot. It tells you how to set it up and where all the buttons are and the Alexa app. You have to get the app for your iOS or Android device for it to sync your account to it, your Amazon account, your music, credit card information, 
location services and uh, other services that it requires from you. And it tells you what you need to do first. Of course, you have to plug it in. Of course, you got to download the app. Here's the website link to that. And how to connect a Bluetooth speaker or through the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the back. And on the back, it just shows you a little bit of trademark information, barcode label on the back, and that's it. Otherwise, underneath that, we do have Echo Dot. And this is pretty cool because it says try things to try. It says music. Under the music tab, it says Alexa, play some prime music. Alexa, shuffle my dinner party playlist. Alexa, play my Miles Davis station. Alexa, what song is this? Alexa, buy this song. And you can do, you can ask it things about shows, podcasts, and radio. Like Alexa, play the program Radio Lab. Alexa, play ESPN Radio. And under alarms, you can say, well, under alarms and timers, you can say Alexa, set an alarm for 7 a.m. Alexa, set a timer for 45 minutes. Under the shop Amazon, you can say Alexa, order laundry detergent. Alexa, buy more paper towels. And on the back, you can ask it things uh, for question and answers. We'll do all of these once I get it set up. So we'll put this card over to the side here. Underneath that, we do get a nicely color matched black, a, uh, a black uh, micro USB to USB type A for the wall. And here we get a Amazon branded nine watt wall adapter there it goes. and it's wrapped in plastic and it says Amazon with the USB in the back it's white and it tells you it's a 9 watt adapter uh, output of 5.2 volts 1.8 amps and uh, much more information like the model number things like that that's pretty nice and let's show you the echo dot so the top of the echo dot you get a volume down the main microphone which is really what's going to be listening to you from the top of the device even though there are seven different microphones on top as well this is like the main one that's the alexa button so you press that and alexa can queue up and command volume up and you can turn on turn on or turn off the microphone Around here you have the speakers as well as the other seven microphones built in. Here you have a blue LED light strip. And I believe that does change color, but it will indicate to you if Alexa's listening or not. The front of the device, it just says Amazon in nice grayish text. And on the back... It has your micro USB and the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Just to let you know with the headphone jack, it is on all the Amazon Echoes that you buy. So you can plug in more speakers. Even though the other two models that cost more have built-in speakers, you can still plug in your own speakers to it. So that's pretty nice, and it's nice that they have that for the smart home assistants. And on the bottom, you do get some regulatory information and it's like a nice black mat down here, like a rubberized mat, so it's not going to slip off your table. On the bottom here, this is probably gr uh, grills for speakers to shine out, the uh, sound out through the bottom, I mean. And for cooling the hardware inside as well. And you can tell with the rubber foot, it is raised to it. And it's a little bit different black coating than this shiny jet black I want to call it you know like a really jet black this color is so let's take off the plastic so getting all that plastic off you can really see the shininess of the device this will show scratches over time like if you're scratching it and it does have if you feel it it has like a, a shine to it, you know, like a thick coating. So it's like a protective layer over the glossy black. And you can hear it make a sound on the camera. So it does have a little bit of protective layer. That will rub off, of course, 
over time, but otherwise it's a nice whole uh, build, con build construction on the device. And it will hold up over time, I'm telling you, like uh, maybe two, three years. But otherwise, otherwise I really like this design, it's nice and compact and all that. It would have been cool if they would have built in a uh, set of speakers into it, but of course, too small and to keep it at a lower price, they would have to get rid of the speakers. But otherwise, headphone jack across the board, plug in some good speakers, and there you go. So let's get this powered up and let's see what we can do with it. So just unwrapping the power adapter. I'm going to plug this in. Just by holding the device really quick, the weight of the device, if you guys are wondering, it's not that heavy. It's like, it's weighted on the bottom so it stays on the table. So if you really push it hard enough, it will move on the table or fall off the edge. But otherwise... If you're sitting it on the edge of the table and you're wondering if it's going to fall off, you know, like if it's pushed slightly, it's not going to really move, to be honest with you, because this is like a slight move. See, it's like you're not even moving that much, but if you push it like that, you know, you see it has to jump or roll to start moving. So it's pretty weighted, so it's not going to go anywhere. So to plug in the device, we just hook in the micro micro usb into the back plug it in and it's on because it shows the blue led light and it's looking for a wi-fi signal so i'm going to get the app and i'm going to go pair it right now so the first step to getting this set up is to of course plug it in then we're going to go download the Alexa app. Hello. You oh. Your Amazon Echo Dot is ready for setup. Just follow the instructions in your Alexa app. So Alexa comes on it, tells you to go get the Alexa app. And it's pretty nice how it has a amber uh, indicator letting you know that it needs to be set up and for the first time and all that. Very cool. And it rotates and it, you can you can probably tell it changes hue in the color a little bit, which is very nice. So right here we go into our app store and this is the iPod Touch 6th generation. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to search for the Amazon app. Amazon Alexa app right here. This is the first one. So we're going to click get. Install it. So here's the Amazon Alexa app installing on the iPod Touch. And we're going to jump right in. Amazon Alexa. And I'm going to go sign in right now.
with it signed in, you can see it gives you some information like my current location and things to try to say to the Alexa speaker. So we're going to go in. And I'm going to go and I'm going to set up the device. So here, right here it says set up a new device. So we're going to click set up a new device. So then it says select which one's yours. So you can see the Echo, the Echo Dot, Echo Plus, and the new Amazon Tap. I forgot to mention that. So we're going to click Echo Dot. And we're going to click the United States. And we're going to set it up to the Wi-Fi, so I'm going to do this off camera really quick. And, oh, really quick. It says, wait for the orange light. So make sure it's plugs in and you see that orange light down there, which we do. So with the app is telling me right now, you have to go to the Wi-Fi settings on your device itself. So we're going to go in and connect directly to the Echo itself. So it would say Amazon, and it would say Echo with the number next to it. Oh, that means it's paired. You've connected to, it. to Echo Dot. Go ahead and finish the setup in your Alexa app. See, it says connected to Echo Dot, so we're going to continue. And I'm going to sign it in to connect to my home Wi-Fi network. So it's going to do that right now. So it's going to say, this might take a few minutes. But overall, the setup process is really quick. I would say between three to five minutes at the most. But this is actually, in my opinion, the coolest way how you can get a smart home assistant hooked up. I mean, this is my first time, of course. But it's really cool, in my opinion, how everything hooks up with the device and to the wireless. And then how it syncs up to the Amazon Echo Dot and things like that. That's pretty cool. So now it says Echo Dot is now connected to the Wi-Fi, so we're going to continue. And it says, for the speaker system, it says select how you want to use your Echo Dot. And for this, I'm actually going to go find a set of speakers really quick to hook in. I do have these Bluetooth speakers I'm going to use. I just have to hook in the cable for him. So I'm just going to plug in my micro USB just to plug it into the power really quick. Alright guys, with the Bluetooth process I skipped it because my speakers aren't currently fully charged to work. So I will be editing in that part of the video towards the end of this. So let's continue. So here's a short video to show you the basics to help you get started. So let's play that. Let's take a quick tour of your new Amazon Echo Dot. Now it's easy to add Alexa to any room in your home. Play your music, communicate with friends and family, and control your smart home with just your voice. To get the attention of your device, say the wake word, Alexa. You'll know your dot is ready when the light ring turns blue. Echo helps you organize your busy life. Alexa, what's on my calendar today? Today there are two events. At 9 a.m., there's Jordan's soccer game, and at 7 p.m., there's dinner with Tony. You can also message or call someone on their supported Echo device or the Alexa app. Alexa, message Tony. What's the message? We're still on for dinner tonight, right? Sending message. Ready for some music? Connect your Echo Dot to your home stereo system with an audio cable or pair with supported Bluetooth speakers. Listen to over 2 million songs with Prime Music or subscribe to Amazon Music Unlimited to enjoy tens of millions of songs, including new releases. Alexa, play today's most popular songs. Playing the top billboard songs. Because you know I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, 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 bass. 
You can also listen to music, radio stations, or podcasts from Spotify or TuneIn, and even play audiobooks from Audible. When you're cooking, you can ask, Alexa, how many teaspoons are in a tablespoon? One tablespoon equals three teaspoons. Alexa, set a timer for 12 minutes. Okay. Alexa, stop. With Smart Home, you can control supported lights and appliances without lifting a finger. Alexa, turn on the bedroom light. Okay. Alexa is always getting smarter, so be sure to explore the Alexa mobile app. Here you can customize to-do and shopping lists, add skills for services like Uber and Pizza Hut, or check out the Things to Try section for even more fun ideas. Enjoy your new Echo Dot from Amazon. So that's a quick little video about the Amazon Alexa and things you can do, which is very nice. So we're going to click next. Intro to Amazon Alexa. So it says, say the following phrase out loud to Alexa. Alexa, what is the weather in New York City? In New York, it's 28 degrees with cloudy skies. Today, you can look for lots of clouds with a high of 31 degrees and a low of 26 degrees. Alexa, what is Amazon stock at? As of 2.12 p.m. Eastern, Amazon.com traded at $1,177.50, up 0.28% since previous close. Alexa, how much is one Bitcoin worth? One Bitcoin is $17,700. So those are some of the things Amazon Alexa can do, which is pretty cool. And... Oh, okay, so we're going to do this one. Uh, Alexa, play the program Radio Lab. Getting the latest episode of Radio Lab. Here it is from TuneIn. This is Molly calling from snowy Ann Arbor, Michigan. Alexa, Radio Lab is supported stop. Oh, that's, that's pretty cool. Alexa, what's the news today? Here's your flash briefing. In NPR News. Live from NPR News in Washington, I'm Lakshmi Singh. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson says North Korea needs to earn its way back to the negotiating table. In his address to the UN... Alexa, Council told stop. And it says, all done. Will you, would you like... To Alexa to recognize your voice so she can personalize your experience now. It says create a voice profile. You are ready to start talking to Alexa. You can always visit, try new things in the menu to repeat this guide or to learn about things to say. So I'm going to create a voice profile. Okay, so it looks like it's giving me an error on that. So I'm going to go back. And I'm going to do create a voice profile. Okay, so I got to set my phone number into the app. So I'll do that later. And here is all the previous things that I asked it. So it's pretty cool that it gives you a list of everything that was asked. So outside the Amazon app, some things you can do in the app really quick to Your Echo Dot it. received an important update and must restart. It'll be ready again shortly. Okay, so it looks like Alexa found an update on their server side, so let that update. Then we're going to go through and we're gonna actually going to change the command word to something different. So to change the command word, you're going to go down to skills. So here's the skills page. 
So there's here's in the skills tab. There's many lists of different type of skills you would you would want to add to Alexa, which is very nice. So I'm gonna look for one now that I personally want to add. So I'm gonna go to educational references. So to change the key word that it would recognize, so instead of saying Alexa. We're going to switch that to something else. So we're going to go down to settings. In here. And we are going to be doing. Your voice. We're going to do. Okay, we're going to click into your voice. Kyle's echo dot. So we're going to click that to change it. We're going to go all the way down to woke word, wake word. So we're going to change that. I'm going to select another word. So I'm going to select computer. For those of you that might have already guessed, yes, I am a Star Trek fan. I'm a huge Star Trek fan. So that was another reason why I got it. Because you can change the wake word. So now it's changed. So now... We can, instead of saying Alexa, we can do computer. What is the temperature in London? In London, United Kingdom, it's 43 degrees with showers. Tonight, you can look for mostly clear skies with a low of 32 degrees. Computer, play iHeartRadio. What do you want to hear? My 80s. I could not find a station named My 80s on iHeartRadio. Play computer. What song is this? No music is playing. Com computer. What song is this? No music is playing. I thought it, I was wondering if the computer could recognize I was playing a biggie, biggie small song, but turns out it doesn't recognize that yet. So we're going to try some things that was given in the box instead. So that's some pretty cool things I found out there. You can change the woke word by going into the device itself. Some other things you can change within there in the, in that setting is update the Wi-Fi, pair remote, do not disturb. You can schedule that. You can change the sounds, the location of the device, of course. Temperature units, so you can do units for measurement. So if I turn that on, you can do that distance for units, distant units. It's registered to me, of course, and there's the numbers. But otherwise, that is some pretty cool things. I will have to dig into this more before I can really tell you guys what I think about it in another video. I'm going to tell you guys what I truly think about the device. But otherwise, let's just go through some things it does give. So, for instance, I'm going to say computer. Set an alarm for 7 a.m. Computer. Set an alarm for 7 a.m. Alarm set for 7 a.m. tomorrow. Computer. Cancel that alarm. 7 a.m. alarm canceled. Or we can say computer. Set an alarm for one minute. Computer. Cancel that one minute alarm. Your alarm is not set. Computer. Cancel timer. No timer is set. Okay. So, as you can tell now with the the uh, Echo Dot, you do have to be in some sort of close range to it for it to really recognize what you're saying. But, otherwise, for right now in this little unboxing video, uh, I couldn't really get it to recognize the song I was playing. I'll probably test that off camera again, see if it recognizes that same song. 
or a different one or something like that. But it's pretty cool that you can change the keyword. There's three of them. You can change it from Alexa. There's four actually. Alexa, Echo, Amazon, or Computer. I put it to Computer because, of course, I just told you guys I am a really big Star Trek fan. I really like that. Uh, for us Star Trek fans, really quick before I end the video, let's see if Alexa can take us to the holodeck. Computer. Open holodeck. Sorry, something went wrong. Can't do that just yet. Computer. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. Uh, I'm not Hal and we're not in space. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Alexa got that. Oh, uh, other things you can say. Computer. Order me a pizza. I have a few skills for that. Do you want to try Amazon restaurants? No, thank you. Do you want to give Domino's a try? No, thank you. Do you want to give Pizza Hut a try? No, thank you. All right. So you can ask you things to order food in your location and weather, traffic. So I can say, computer, what is the traffic for New York City? It also gives you routes and directions. You can respond from messages from your phone, text messages. You can even receive calls on here, which is pretty cool through the app. Uh, for now, I'm really impressed with this uh, home speaker setup. Of course, you guys probably know that I'm really new to it, of course. So I will take my time and really get into it. I'm going to make an in-depth video about this maybe in a month. In the new year coming up, I'm going to be doing one maybe in January or February. So I want to get some time to really put it through its paces, see what it can do, see what it can't do. Of course, with the music, I would like it to do what Shazam does. Identify songs in the room, like from playing music, you know, from a radio or a podcast I'm listening to. I just want to test it in that aspect. The Bluetooth speakers, I will be putting that in the video. So near the end of this video, I will be ad uh, editing that in so we can probably take a listen to music playback on this device through those speakers. Otherwise, my first impressions of this for $30 right now that's on sale, I would say if you're new to it like me, and let's say you're an Apple fan like myself, but you don't want to wait for the HomePod that's coming out early next year, which in Apple terms is probably March, April, or May, maybe even June to be honest with you, which will be one year later since they announced it in June. They might, you know, Apple might say in, in June, oh, we're going to release it during the fall of 2018. Didn't happen this year. Might happen late next year. Who knows with the HomePod how that's coming out. Things like that. And plus the price of all the smart home assistants. There's the Google Home. There's the Google Home Mini. There's the Google Home Max. You got the Amazon Alexa uh, 2, the Echo Plus, which is 179 Those have built-in speakers, the $79 one and the $179 one. But if you just want something that's from Amazon that's cheaper, this will get the job done for you. You just log into your Amazon account with the Amazon Alexa app on your iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch. On all your Android devices, it will sync up. It has Bluetooth in it, so of course it can connect to the Bluetooth speakers. Bluetooth home kit, not home kit, Bluetooth home accessories. And things like that. Integration with the home part of the aspect. I don't have anything to really demo right now. My thing is for Amazon. Will this work with Apple's home kit? Like as like some type of accessory connecting the bridge like let's say you have this and you'd be like Alexa connect to this device on the Apple system or something like that I don't think Apple would really want this to be accepted into their system of course if they're having the HomePod come out but um, I just want to see like all these home smart, uh, smart assistant speakers connect together even though they're all from different companies to all work together 
in one uh, unison code and form and things like that. But otherwise, we'll see what this takes us. In 2018, of course, there's going to be newer models. I might get the HomePod if that comes out. You know, if I really like this, I'll get another one of these. But for right now, I'm really impressed. And it does a lot of things that Siri and Google can't do. And I'm really liking this small form factor. And it's clean. And it has a longer cable on it. So I can even set this on a shelf above my desk and still have it do what I need it to do without being right in front of my face. But otherwise, guys, I hope you guys like this video. I will be getting some more videos out before the end of 2017. I just want to say my apologies for the WWDC videos for June 2017 and the September one. I will be making those videos regardless that those things have already passed. And I will be making videos about the iMac Pro that just came out yesterday and some other Apple products. And I will be selling some things on my eBay page. Check the links below for that. Go to the Apple 101 website that I have to read more about these technologies and I'm probably going to do a written review on my web on my website for the Amazon Echo Dot and stay tuned for more videos like this I do have a lot more to show you and uh, have a nice day guys